Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video is port isolation. And we're going to look at it from Unify. But first of all, a lot of vendors do support port isolation. And what that allows you to do is on a switch, if you've got multiple devices plugged in and you don't want the devices on certain ports to talk to each other, you can isolate those devices using isolated ports to not talk to each other while allowing them to talk to everything else. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up my Express 7 with my Enterprise 8 switch and I've got a U7 in-wall AP adopted and I'm going to show you this. Uh, this can be useful if you've got a, a server and you've got, you know, an, like a test device or you know, to use it in production, like you've got a certain device you don't want to be able to talk to another device that's plugged in. And now you, you do need to realize that this only works on the same switch. So this is not going to work between switches. Um, and I think you should play around with this. You should learn it. A lot of vendors have this. And there's a lot of really cool things you can do with switch ports, not only port isolation, uh, with the, but when you get into, you know, some of the layer two things, Q and Q, you can do all kinds of cool things with, with switches. This is particularly port isolation. Like I said, it does have to be done on the same switch with Unify. So here we are. We've got our Enterprise 8. And I'm going to pull up the port manager. Now, this is the only switch that I have adopted here. You can see my workstation is plugged into port 2. And you can see I've got this U7 in-wall AP on port 5. I'm going to bring up a command prompt. And right now I'm actually going to show you that I can ping. And I'm just using ping as a very rudimentary way to show you this. I can ping that U7 in-wall. So right now you can see I can ping it. I don't have, you know, they're in the same network. I don't have anything else set up, no... ACLs that I've set up or anything like that. So this traffic is going to continue and I'm just going to put a dash T there so that we have a continuous ping until we stop it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to ports and I'm going to come into where my PC is plugged in and over here under the port settings I'm going to have to scroll down and I'm going to have to go to advanced and manual and then I'm going to have to select this port isolation. If you look at the tooltip, it says allows you to prohibit traffic between isolated ports. This only applies to ports on the same device, the same Unify switch. So I'm going to turn that on and we're going to apply that. It takes a second for the device to provision. And we're going to see that our ping is still happening. Our device should provision. We'll get the little green dot that goes to orange and it is going to set that as an isolated port. Now the ping should still continue and we'll break it and restart it as soon as this provisions. I wanted you to see the provision. Sometimes it takes us a second. There it goes. So now it's getting ready. So now it is putting that port that my PC is plugged into as an isolated port. And you can see that the ping is still going. We're not getting any timeouts. And to show you that, I'll break the ping and I'll restart it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to ports. We've got that ping still going. I'm going to go back to ports. I'm going to go to port 5, which has the U7 in wall. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to scroll down under advanced to manual and I'm going to turn on port isolation. And I might be blocking the apply button, but it's in the bottom right hand corner, big blue button with apply changes in white lettering. And I'm going to, I'm going to click that. We're going to go back to the devices. You can see that my ping is still running. And then once the switch gets the command to isolate that port, our ping should stop. So in theory, every client device that you have on this switch, you could select all of these ports and isolate everything. And I'll show you that even though I'm isolated here in a second, as soon as this provision happens and the ping start dropping, okay, the switch is reprovisioning. And now you can see that the requests are timing out because now those are both isolated ports. So now the devices plugged into those ports 
cannot talk to each other. But if I bring this up and I go to uh, 1.1, I can still ping the gateway. Uh, 204 is the switch itself. I can still ping that. And I can even ping to outside. But if I try to ping that U7 in wall, you can see that I'm not able to ping it. So you're saying to yourself, well, does it work the other way around? Yes, it does. I'm going to open up another tab. And I am obviously uh, 1.25. So I'm going to open up another tab. We're going to do SSHWHOW at 192.168, uh, which is not going to work because I can't. I'm thinking about this out loud. We're running this, riding this train together. But you're going to see that this SSH is going to sit here and it's going to do nothing uh, because I can't, I can't talk to the devices on that port. So we've got to take the long way around to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to SSH to our switch. And you can see that it is prompting me for the password. So I'm in the switch. So now from the switch, I'm going to SSH into the U7 in wall. It's going to ask me to accept that. Okay, so now I'm in the in wall AP, and now I'm going to ping 192.168.1.25, and you can see that I'm getting no response. If I ping 1.1 from the AP, I get a response. I can even ping, uh, obviously, we're talking to the switch. I can even ping outside of the network and it works. So we have effectively isolated those devices on the same switch from each other. Now we can come in here and we can actually undo this. So if we come in here and we actually only have to turn one of these ports off because it's targeting ports that are tagged as isolated. So I can come in here and I can uncheck port isolation on the AP, hit apply, come over to unify devices. And because my PC is the only isolated port and nothing else is tagged as isolated, as soon as this switch provisions and takes that port out of isolated mode, our ping should start again. So we're going to wait for that to happen. Like I said, this is not specifically a Ubiquiti feature. A lot of manufacturers have this feature, but this is how you do it in Unify. So I'm getting a, getting a little antsy waiting for the provisioning. There we go. Switch is getting ready. Once those changes have been uh, pushed, you can see that our ping now starts again. So each of those ports that you want to isolate, they all have to be tagged under advanced on the switch port on the single switch. Remember, this doesn't work across switches, uh, but anything on that switch that is tagged as isolated, once you have more than one port, those ports are not going to be able to talk to each other at all. So if you've got any questions about this, let me know down below. Let me know how you use switch port isolation. I'd love to hear some other real world use cases down below on that. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, if you need someone to look over your network, you want to build a new network, revamp an old network, if you want to implement security, voice over IP, wireless, or storage, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out the contact form that's right there on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Come on over to community.willyhow.com and talk about how you use port isolation today. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.